So I'm making a video on my bath bomb recipes. Um, I started it. Um, they've already been going for about six or seven minutes. And I accidentally turned my computer off. So um, the reason I'm sharing my video, um, my recipe is different from the other ones out there. My base, like my um, powdered ingredients, are about the same with a little difference. And um, But I add no cornstarch and my bath bombs float every single time um, and they usually last anywhere um, from 18 to 25 minutes. Um, that's what I was testing them earlier and that's how long they lasted in the tub. So um, these have already been going and I had to uh, turn my computer back on so that took about a minute. And um, there's no witch hazel, there's no alcohol, there's no fragrance, there's no oils, there's no butters, there's no polysorbates, um, no hydrosols, anything like that. I use a different binder. And these, uh, these dry extremely fast because of it. They're usually rock hard by the time you take them out of the mold. You can usually leave them in there a couple minutes. Um, my ball molds, I usually leave them in about 10 minutes and then I put them in front of the humidifier. And it takes one to two hours to dry a big one completely. And it can be packaged. Um, and then the little ones usually take a half hour, but I'll say an hour to dry. So, um, but there's other um, ingredients in this bath bomb that um, do moisture barrier. Like if you're worried about not having oils in your bath bomb because it'll be drying to the skin. Well, there's skin softening um, ingredients in this, so they're not drying to the skin at all. And um, it makes an all-natural bubble bath, too. Now, I added some lake colors in these, so these are not all-natural. But you could do it with herbal colors and make them all-natural if you wanted to because my base is all-natural. So they've been going. Let's see how long this video runs. And I've got three of them in there. Two different recipes. Same method. No cornstarch at all whatsoever. And like I said before, they float every single time. So every time you make this recipe, no matter how tight you pack, it's going to float. You can add cornstarch as a filler to make your recipe bigger. Your batch bigger. I know a lot of people worry about getting yeast infections, even though it's pretty silly. Not usually caused by cornstarch. But a lot of people think so, so they won't use them. Use that in their bath bombs. I usually fill it up about halfway, then when they're done I turn the water on. I don't have to swish and it gets a pretty big bubble bath.
This is usually the recipe I use the most, and um, this one was half the size of the other ones, actually less than half the size of the other one, and it's gone just as long. So this one like really, really goes a long time.